Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and patients are often confused about the concept of internal jugular vein compression due to craniocervical instability. There's two big concepts here. The first concept is static compression, meaning when you're not moving around. And there are lots of people out there that have static compression that have no symptoms. So it's not that important to see static compression on, for instance, a CTA or CTV. Having said that, sometimes patients can get very severe intermittent compression due to craniocervical instability. And that would be when you turn your head, you see a marked drop in the venous flow through the IJV. So those two different concepts often confuse patients. Seeing some static compression in your CT scan is not that big a deal. However, in some patients, when they're turning their head or doing other things, craniocervical instability can put pressure on the IJV and that can lead to a decrease of outflow from the brain, increased cerebral spinal fluid pressure, intracranial hypertension, and those sorts of headaches. So hopefully that explains the difference between static and movement-based dynamic compression. Hope, hopefully that answers that question. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.